Auntie Elias also kitchen, which is gonna be helping me in this dish. We will present you a Tanzanian delicacy, a, an everyday food that everyone loves. So we have maharage ya nazi, which means beans with coconut cream. We are missing so much uh, our friends in Tanzania, uh, and since we eat this dish every day there, uh, we will have an interesting mix to show you today. So, during our last trip in Presta, we brought back some beans. Giant beans, or a mix of um, kidney beans, different colors, and this is the mix we used today for the dish of uh, Tanzania. And I also want to say that these beautiful baskets are made by the women of the Gondon village. I can't wait to see them again, maybe after all these things we will be back together. If uh, you want to, if you have never been to Prespa Lakes and you want to visit, please do. This is an amazing place. Remember to visit Nikos uh, and at Wildlife and Culture, and he will show you the amazing places that are there. So let's get started. Yes. I will start with the ingredients. First and most important, we have 500 grams of kidney beans, or if you don't have, you can use this mix, press palate mix. Um, we have half of the can, 200 milligrams of coconut milk. When we were in Tanzania, Mama Marta, she used to uh, instead get the fresh coconut with uh, hot, hot water and get from there the milk, but don't have coconut, so we're using this milk, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> from vegetables, we have one large onion, one large tomato, one carrot, uh, as much garlic as we like. We, like, we have two uh, garlic here, and one big pepper, some oil, um, around four uh, big spoons, or five, <laughs> depends. <laughs> Uh, some pepper and some salt. So let's start by preparing the vegetables. I will, I will make uh, the tomato, I will cut it and then put it in the blender to make a nice sauce. Uh, while we are getting into the onion and uh, slowly, slowly dice everything else. Okay, let's start. A nice trick to do is to peel the tomato so that you can reduce the cooking time and uh, eat faster because <laughs> we like to eat pepper and we are ready to start cooking. So once we know how this kitchen works, we add the oil. Uh, depends on the pan that you have, it's good to cover. So yeah, I think it was good. Five spoons is fine. Then we can add, first of all, the onions. With the, the garlic. So I think it's better to lower our pan so they will simmer slowly, they will cook slowly and not get burned. I know from that because I've burned a lot of onions. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, you were uh, yeah. about to ask me. Uh, should I cut the paper? Ah, yes, yes. Just uh, cut small strips. Okay. So I'm cutting stripes. So we continue to uh, cook until they become uh, a bit uh, translucent and uh, they get soft. It's time to add the carrots so that they get also very soft. Not very, but soft. <laughs> so now that the carrots are soft enough, uh, it's time to add our tomato sauce. Mm. 
Now, this time, <laughs> to add some salt and let it boil maybe for two minutes until, uh, until the color of the tomato is darker. <laughs> it's up to your taste how much of uh, the salt you add. So, the pepper is coming in! Mm. Nice. Now, this was the last step for the vegetables. And once this is ready, we will lower the temperature and add our coconut milk. Oh, it's already good. smells good, but we yeah. have to add more things. So, first, we will add the beans. Okay, and we give it a good stir. So colorful. So colorful. So my mission is to open the coconut meat. <laughs> That's important. Ooh. Oh, so creamy. The most important part, to add the coconut meat. Mm. Look at these colors. Now we let it simmer for five minutes uh, or so, so that uh, the sauce thickens, and it should be ready soon. Let's taste. Good. Maybe a little bit of more salt. Some more pepper. And um, I would say that this recipe is ready. We are ready to serve. So normally in Tanzania you would have this uh, dish, uh, maharage, with two ways. Uh, I think the most favorite uh, dish uh, is the ugali, which is uh, a mix of um, uh, corn flour with water and it's like a puree, but it's not very easy to make. So today we have prepared for you the other alternative, plain rice or wali, as they say in Tanzania. So first we serve the rice we have uh, decided to serve it with uh, a nice fragrant uh, rice which is true in Tanzania the rice tastes better but here I've served it with uh, some jasmine rice which is also a nice alternative On top, we put the beans. It's a dish full of proteins and very nice flavor which will keep you full as long as you need. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching us. Uh, a lot of uh, good vibes from us, from uh, myself, uh, the willing to help and Clelia. And we will see you soon in another tasty video. Bye -bye. Can I resist? No. <laughs> I forgive <Yeah>. you. <laughs>